Hi folks, in this video we'll be looking at how to install or replace the hard drive in a 4-channel Dahua CCTV network video recorder. The process, which only takes a few minutes, is very similar for many different makes and models of NVR and requires no tools other than a Phillips screwdriver. So in this case I'm going to replace the 500GB hard drive that's currently installed in this NVR with a 1TB model. Before working on the NVR make sure that the power supply is disconnected. So this particular model of NVR, there's only four screws that need to be taken out, two on the back, and then another one on each of the sides. So we'll start doing that now. I'm going to take out the two side screws first, and then I'll take out the ones in the back. The first one. Next one, make sure you have somewhere to put your screws, then we have to take these two out. And the last one. There we go. So the next part of opening these, there's a little bit of a technique to it. You just have to make sure that you lift up the back. Sometimes you'll have to pull out the sides a little bit like this. And then it should just lift up this way. Okay. And then we can just gently pull it back like that. And the lid comes off. So you can see that there's already a hard drive installed in this NVR. And we're going to replace it with one that has twice the storage capacity. This particular NVR has room for just one hard drive, but some models can fit two or more. By the way, if you have any footage that you want to use on the hard drive that's in the NVR, you should back it up first before removing it. Next, all we have to do is disconnect the two cables that are shown here and here. So this one with the red, yellow and black wires is the SATA power connector which runs onto the system board here and then this blue cable is called the SATA data cable and that is used for transferring the data from the system board to the hard drive and vice versa. So taking them out is quite easy. All you have to do is just gently pull this plug out and then with the SATA data cable you just need to press down on the little tab here and then gently pull the cable out. It's very important to press down on the tab because it has little hooks on it and if you don't press them down you can damage the connection on the hard drive itself. So once we've disconnected the wires the next thing we have to do is turn over the NVR and you'll see that there are four screws located on the bottom. These four screws hold in the drive so what we need to do is remove those, but at the same time we need to keep our fingers on the drive to support it so that when we do take it out, it's not going to fall out. So we just remove the four screws. Remember to make sure to hold the drive. Okay, and then we can turn it back over again. And here is the drive. Just one thing to look at, when we are connecting the cables up to the drive, you can see there's a little L shape on both of these connectors. And we have to make sure that when we're connecting the plugs on the end, that the L shape matches up. So next we just get our replacement drive. In this case this one is one terabyte, so it's twice the size of the one that was originally in there. We make sure to put the drive in the right way around so that we have our plugs or sockets on this side. And then just position it loosely and then we can 
remember holding it down with, with our fingers, flip it over gently, and then we have to line up the holes on the drive with the back of the case. There we go. So it can be a little bit fiddly, but once you have them in place, it should be okay. So we just take the first screw and put it in. And you don't have to tighten it straight away, just, just make sure it's in. Because if you tighten it, you mightn't be able to move the drive and adjust the positioning of it. So then we put in the next one. And the next one. Okay, and then once you have all four screws in, you can just put it on the bench and then just tighten them up properly. Yeah, that's it. Once we have that done, we can turn the NVR over. And all we have to do then is connect our power cable and our data cable. So this blue one is the data cable, and we can just push it into the socket, like that. And then the power cable, same way, making sure that the L shape matches the L shape on the socket. And that's it, it's connected. All we have to do then is put the lid back on. So when putting the lid back on, same process in reverse, there's a little notch here. We need to match that up with the notch on the box itself. And then just lower it down. And then we can put in the screws at the back. and then the side screws. Okay, that's it. The next thing we need to do then is connect it up to the monitor and we'll just be able to just check the hard drive and make sure that it's uh, properly installed. We can also do a surface scan on it to make sure everything is okay. Okay, so once the NVR is turned on, all we need to do is go into the main menu and then select storage. From here, we just go to the HDD or hard disk drive manager. And we can see here that we have our hard drive. It's called SDA or serial or SATA device A. And it's set to read, write and normal for health status, which is good. And it also shows the free space, which after formatting is going to be a little bit smaller than a terabyte. Okay, 931 gigabytes, and some of that has been used up on this drive because it was used previously. So before using the disk, you should really format it. Just bear in mind though that when you format a hard disk, you remove any data that's on the disk. So if you have anything important on it, you need to back it up first before you do that. So to format the disk, we have to select it, and then we can choose Format. It says, are you sure you want to format the device? So it gives you a chance to change your mind. We're going to click OK. There we go. It's uh, successfully formatted. Now, if you want to check to make sure that the disk is OK and doesn't have any errors, you can go to HDD Detect. And from here, there are a couple of options you can choose. You can choose Key Area Detect, which is kind of a short scan, which will just look at the key areas of the hard disk for errors. This only takes a few seconds, or you can do a global detect, and this takes a lot longer, but it looks at every single uh, part of the disk to make sure that it's working okay. So I'll just, we'll just show you the key area to detect, and what we do is we select the hard drive, and then we just go start detect. 
And it says, hard drive detection may result in file loss. Are you sure you want to continue now? Um, so we're doing this with a new drive, so it doesn't matter, but possibly if you had data on it, it may end up uh, affecting the data. So just be aware of that. And as you can see, the test is pretty quick. So all of the squares representing blocks on the hard drive are good. So our drive is OK. Although the key area detect scan is pretty good, it doesn't thoroughly check the hard drive. So if you wanted to do that, you could click here and go to global detect. And then what we can do is select the drive and then start detect. Again, we have the warning about file loss. Click yes. And this will take a lot longer. So you can see it's just one, done one block there, another one. And it's saying that the remaining time is one hour, 37 minutes. So it probably won't take quite as long as that, but it will take a while. But if you want to be 100% happy about a drive, that's the kind of scan you should probably do. As always, thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully this video was of some use to you. If you did like the video, perhaps you might give it an old like and maybe uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, see you next time.